So guys, one of our candidates will do an ANTT, a septic non-touch technique, and we will do a running time. All right, he's one of my best ones in this group. Um, so he'll show you the right way. Are you ready, candidate? I'm ready, Mr. Sasser. Okay, your timer, you're doing an ANTT. Okay, All right. Your timer starts now. Before I enter the scene, I have to make sure that 30 minutes prior to the procedure, uh, all housekeeping services are halted. Uh, the fans are turned off, my patient's bed are made, and I have to also make sure that if there is a prescription, uh, my patient's medication has been taken. So as I enter the scene, I check for the scene safety, close the doors, close the curtains to provide privacy. Do hand washing based on the WHO guidelines, pump to pump, pump to dorsum, pump to dorsum, interlace, interlace, interlock, interlock. Thumb, thumb, fingertips, fingertips, wrist, wrist. So, nurse, all pre checks are done. I want you to just proceed to preparing your equipment, but you can check your patient's wound if you want. Thank you, Mrs. Assessor. Since all pre checks have been done, so I'm going with my patient's content, I'm going to minimally expose my patient's wound so that I can check it. And now, that, uh, Mrs. Assessor, now that I've seen my patient's wound, I know now what type of dressing I'm going to use. Okay. I'm going to close it. Blue hand rub. And I'm going to proceed now in preparing my equipment. Your um, trolley was washed in the last 24 hours with soap and water. You can wear your apron and gloves. Thank you, Mrs. Assessor. And you film na ko sa fluid balance, ha? Uh, so, since my trolley has been washed with soap and water for the last couple of hours, I'm happy to clean it with the detergent wipes, which is indeed I'm happy to use. Also, uh, I'm going to clean my hand rub, which is in date. I'm going to clean it from top to bottom. Clinical waste bin. Well done. So, I have here my sterile gloves, which is in date. Happy to use. I have here my uh, soap or in date, happy to use. Linel wipes, in date, happy to use. Also, I have here my normal soap, which is in date, no precipitate. And no discoloration, I'm happy to use. And my dressing pack, in date, I'm happy to use. And lastly, I'll put a pair of apron. So I'm going to proceed now to my patient. So, uh, Mrs. Sasser, I'm sorry I forgot to uh, take out my uh, apron. So proceed. before proceeding to the patient, I should have already removed my apron. Proceed. Thank you, Mrs. Sasser. So, um, um, so now that I'm with my patient, I'm going to reconfirm my patient's identity, pain and comfort, as well as re regain my patient's consent to procedure. And uh, so, um, I'll... Uh, with my patient's consent, I'm going to expose my patient's wood as minimally as possible. I'm happy that I have a patient's wood. This is in here and I'm happy to do this. I'm happy to do this. I'm happy to do this. So I'm gonna open up my uh, sterile field. Just touching the tips. Uh, 
Proceed. Thank you, Mr. Sessor. Then let, uh, let it air dry for another 30 seconds. Proceed. So I'm going to open it just minimally and then pour just uh, the needed amount and then put it. Sorry. So I'm now going to use my Now I'm going to declare that this hand is my clean hand and this hand is my sterile hand. So I'm going to dry, uh, wet my cos, squeeze it, and drop it. And since my, since my patient's wound is clean, then I'm going to just clean it in one stroke, making sure that I take all the blood and all the uh, dirt on it, and then going to pat it dry just at the sides to make sure that the center is kept uh, moistened so to accommodate my patient's wound healing. And then we'll apply my patient's dressing center. And then so now I'm going to declare that my sterile field is closed. So I'm going to clean out everything. And after I've done with my cleaning, I'm going to inform my patient about the, uh, how to promote wound healing, such as uh, LD, eating high protein diets, as well as include uh, vitamin C rich foods and close my patients, cover my patient to promote patient's dignity. Also, uh, let the patient ambulate if not contraindicated as well as have a high, high fluid intake. Perfect round, guys. That's what you call perfect round.